Welcome back, Polaris, to another botany lesson where we discuss parts of a leaf, shapes of leaves, which in the classroom would be the botany cabinet, as well as types of leaves. The first part we'll be discussing are parts of leaves. So I have two different leaves here, and that's just to show the same part, but what it might look like in different types of leaves. So when it comes to recording the parts of a leaf, you can choose either picture to record. The veins of a leaf function like the veins in the human body by bringing nutrients to all parts of the leaf. The veins are hard and act as support to the softer parts of the leaf, like a skeleton. The margin of the leaf is the outer edge of the leaf. The stipules of the leaf are little leaflets at the base of the petiole. The stipules may be separated from each other or joined together. The blade is the part of the leaf that is the thin, flat, broad area of the leaf. The petiole is the part of the leaf that joins the blade to the stem. The petiole is narrow and hard. The apex is the very top of the blade of the leaf. The leaf usually comes to the point at the apex. Okay, so that's all of the parts of the leaf. So what I want you to do is pause the video and try and quiz yourself. So, how many did you get right? So that covers the parts of a leaf. And next we're going to be covering leaf shapes, which is also the botany cabinet shapes. The botany cabinet that you would normally use looks like the picture in front of you. Unfortunately, we don't have the botany cabinet or the uh, leaf cabinet with us. So what I decided to do was compare these leaf shapes with real life leaf shapes that you might see outside. For the portion of the video where I show you shapes of leaves, there will not be any audio because there really isn't much to say. So feel free to just take a look at the pictures. And when it comes to recording, I can't wait to see your favorite type. So like I said, I'd like to see your favorite shape or favorite three shapes of leaves when you record your work. All right, and now we will be covering the types of leaves. Keep in mind as you see the pictures of leaves pop up in just a moment that this is not every single type of leaf. There are so, so, so many and that would take us hours to cover. Ash leaves grow in pairs opposite one another and occasionally in sets of three. They are somewhat thin with pointed tips and are compound, meaning more than one leaf grows on a single stem. Aspen trees thrive in cold conditions and are known for their leaves, which turn vibrant shades of red and yellow during fall months. The leaves are flat and rounded with jagged edges all around. 
Bay leaves are oval and pointed with a shiny green top and a softer backside. They are one to three centimeters long. Bay trees grow mainly in Mediterranean climates. Black walnuts are native to eastern North America, growing along water. There are more than 11 leaves per stem, and each leaf reaches 12 to 24 inches long. Clover grows in many climates all over the world. Most clover leaves have three round tips and a green, white, or red color. It is known for its four-leaf clover, which is from folk tales. They're said to be good luck, and I actually have one from when I was about your age as well, and I have kept it all this time. Elm trees originated in Asia, but now grow all over the northern hemisphere. Their leaves alternate in two rows on a stem and are separated with an oval shape. Leaves that grow on fig trees, also called ficus trees, have three to seven lobes. They are often used to cover body parts in sculptures and other art. Fig trees thrive in cool, dry areas. Ginkgo leaves are flat, veined, green leaves which turn golden in autumn. Ginkgo trees are popular for planting in cities because they tolerate air pollution well. They are living fossils. Holly bushes and trees grow mainly in Asia and America and produce simple but distinctive green leaves. Holly leaves and berries are often used as winter holiday decorations. Ivy plants are native to Europe. Ivy is known for its leafy vines, often used for decoration. Ivy leaves are dark green veined leaves with five pointed sections. It almost looks like a star. The maple leaf's distinct shape, three veined sections with pointed tips, is a symbol on the Canadian flag. Some maple trees are tapped for sap to make maple syrup. Oak leaves are arranged spirally among tree branches. Depending on the species, the leaves have edges with many lobes, serrated edges, or are whole leaves with a smooth edge. There are four stages of pine leaves. Seed and juvenile leaves are tiny and grow in a spiral. Next come brown scale leaves. Needles are adult green leaves that grow in long clusters. The sycamore tree is one of the most common North America trees. Sycamore leaves are shaped much like a maple leaf with vein sections and pointed tips. The spreading shape of a white oak tree is used often for a shade tree. Their leaves have lobed edges and begin as a pink color, maturing to a deep green before changing to brown in the fall. And there we have it. We are all finished with parts of, types of, and shapes of leaves. So some options for recording are in the Google Drive under Botany and then Botany Unit Checklist. And remember to upload to the Proud Moments folder. I'm excited to see your work. Bye!